All right. Good day, Doug. Nice to see you. And nice to see you too, Tim. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time today. What I'd love to do is give our evolution audience a sense of who you are and roughly what you're going to speak about when you're at the conference. So I know a little bit about you, but no one else does. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and Geneva Global and that sort of story real quick? Okay. So um, I started uh, working in international development um, after a career in management consultancy. Um, I've now been working in the space some 25 years. Uh, started off with me doing quite a lot of work on the ground in, uh, in Liberia in the Civil War and you know, all sorts of places like that at the sharp end. And then for 10 years, I ran a big UK international relief and development agency. And then frustrated by the NGO system and frustrated about the things that we couldn't get done, I got an opportunity to go and join a couple of billionaires that wanted to give away some of their wealth uh, in international development in developing countries. And I sort of jumped at the chance of, of running that program. Uh, a couple of years later, I did a management buyout of the organization and we now act as a, as a business offering philanthropic services to big corporations, foundations, and wealthy individuals, including the billionaire that I bought the company off. That's an amazing story. So tell me, uh, if you had to summarize for somebody what Geneva Global actually does, how would you describe that? So we offer um, services and uh, help to actually enable our clients, the donors uh, and philanthropists, to be able to uh, achieve what they're looking to do in terms of their philanthropy. So um, that might be that they want us to actually create a program working with street kids in Guatemala, we'll go and do that. Uh, it may be that they're trying to actually set up a farm, they've got something that they're very proud of, they want to get more, more donors into it and we'd help them create a fund and bring other people into that. Sometimes they just want some help with you know, thinking through a, a, a baseline study or a landscape or a set of research and we'll help them with that too. So it sounds to me a lot like you're on the implementation of purpose business in a way. Yeah. So, so somebody, somebody once said, you know, that we're the people that actually make stuff happen. There you go. That sounds good to me. And somewhere along the way, you wrote a book, which I happily have a copy of. And I know that you're going to talk a little bit about this at Evolution. Can you tell me a little bit about this book, why you wrote it, and kind of what you're bringing to the Evolution stage? Well, the big question that a lot of people are asking themselves is, you know, how do I get more impact out of my philanthropy? And although possibly I wouldn't have put it in those terms in the last 25 years, that's really the question that I've been trying to answer for myself. Um, and constantly been trying to do new things and think about how do we actually get this thing that we call, you know, doing good, creating social change to be really effective. And so what I've done is I wanted to distill all the lessons of those 25 years and turn around and actually say, okay, so how do we get more impact out of philanthropy? And essentially there's eight lessons coming out of my international career, but it's just as applicable for you know, philanthropy in the United States, philanthropy in the West. Um, they're all principles of how do we do good better. All right, I love it. So you've got 15 minutes on the main stage, and I think you're going to give us some uh, amazing stories, case studies, some of the things that you've done. And then you've got a breakout for 60 minutes where I think you're going to go through some of these principles, but also you're happy to answer questions and work with individual companies. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I, I always find that the richest part of uh, the discussion is always the, the questions and then the interaction with the, the audience or the workshop. Um, so essentially, to start off with, so where everybody's appetite on the uh, on the main stage, as it were, and uh, get get across some of what, what some of the lessons that we've actually sort of um, concluded are really important, but actually then unpack that in the workshop. Take two or three of these principles and then sort of take them apart a little bit, mm. but actually get a lot of people's uh, participation and 
you know, get them to enter into the discussion, the dialogue, the debate. Sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. And for people who are interested in coming along, you will see Doug, you'll see lots of other amazing speakers. Grab your tickets today, as they say, or 20 if you need more than one. And we'll see you all at the Evolution Conference October 1 and 2. Thanks a lot, Doug. 